Welcome to my first attempt at brewing cider. I'm using a Cider House Pear Cider Kit. Ran about $45 and makes about 6 gallons. Sterilization. In the first part, we will be sterilizing the equipment. For sterilization, I am using 1 teaspoon iodine with uh, 5 gallons of water. Please read all the warning labels on these products and know what to do in case something gets in your eye or yeah the metal spoon I used was later not recommended because it can actually gouge or scratch the inside of the bucket So here I'm just kind of getting everything sterilized, wiping everything down. One thing about sterilization is if you think you've contaminated something, then you've contaminated it and it's just better to sterilize it again. You'll actually see me sterilize some of the lids two, three, or even four times. So this entire process, including the sterilization step, took about 53 minutes in real time. I cut out quite a few sections and sped up all the video to two times the speed. So if you thought you were done sterilizing, then you need to sterilize again. Here's the pot lid again. I'm actually dumping the five gallon bucket of sterilization fluid into the sink. Luckily my sink was big enough that it held all of the sterilization fluid, so then I was able to sterilize from the sink. So now we're going to start mixing our ingredients. Adding one gallon of water to this pan to mix my dextrose with. So while that's boiling, or getting ready to boil, I'm uh, 
starting to open up the actual kit contents. Now the outside label of the kit has instructions, but there's more detailed instructions inside the kit once you open it up. So I was fo initially following the instructions on the outside of the package, and then when I opened up the package on the inside, they actually wanted me to pour the boiling water sugar mixture in first, and then add the contents of the package. And here in a moment you'll see I add the contents of the package first, and then add the boiling water. And that was, ended up working out okay, but it was, uh, I wasn't following the directions on the inside of the packet at that point. So I didn't quite know the quality of the tap water, and if you don't know the quality of the tap water, it's what's recommended that I just use bottled water. contents of the package into the bucket. Looking back, I could probably do this entire process and minus boiling the water for about 30 minutes. Probably half the time. So I decided I wasn't going to reuse these jugs and in order to displace the water quicker I decided to stab, stab some holes into the base of it. Worked out pretty well.
the next one goes a little faster. I started each step. first line there. So I set the jug on the counter behind me and I completely forget that forgot that I had stabbed holes in it. So later on there's uh, water dripping down the counter and I'm trying to clean it up real fast. And there I am putting the jugs into the sink. So I didn't have a thermometer and I decided that I would do the skin test. And so I took a little spoonful of the liquid and poured it on my skin over the Hot to make sure that it was about the right temperature before I added the yeast and the yeast packet into it. Up. I'm trying to keep my hand out of it. I'm doing very careful not to get my hand into it so that I don't contaminate it. Since this video, I've actually bought in, uh, gloves to prevent that. So here's my hydrometer, and I didn't have a graduated cylinder to take a sample out of, so I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I later uh, found out that this isn't the best of methods to do, uh, to check the original gra gravity. Do one last stir. And now it's time to seal it up. I was actually pushing the rubber gasket into the hole, so I had to kind of wiggle it around. I think I would have rather put the lid on first and then put the airlock in.
Music was provided by Broke for Free through the Creative Commons license. Here's where you can learn more about the band, album, and songs. Big shout out to Ron Oxender for getting my interest in brewing and also helping me get set up.